There are multiple components that are involved in security as far as WebSphere goes. So what we want to do with this scenario here is just kind of put these different pieces in place and talk about what their individual roles are going to be. Of course, at the center here is going to be the application server and what the application server does. But let's talk about the different pieces that kind of link into the application server. One of them is going to be the security server. So when we're thinking about authentication, authentication-based processing, the security server is the piece inside of the uh, application server environment that we're going to be talking about. This one's composed of a couple of different pieces. One, I have an interface to my user registry. So if I'm using an LDAP architecture like Active Directory, for example, I want to be able to link those particular pieces together because the purpose of the security server is to link and authenticate individuals with uh, different sets of groups and find out what their access control is and what their access privileges are going to be. In addition to that, we also have another component piece called the Java Authentication Authorization Services Login Module. So I can embed login information into the application server. I can use this for downstream types of activities. So rather than having to worry about passing in user ID, password information, and a properties file, for example, I can embed those kinds of things directly into my application server with this JS login module. In addition to that, we also have an access manager that does the authorization pieces. So just identifying an individual and making sure that they're authenticated users is not going to be enough. I also have to manage the security role concepts and do security role based on authorization. So we have a component inside of here that's going to look specifically at authorization and looking at an individual and their sets of uh, privileges and see if they match up against the resource that they're attempting to access. In addition to those particular pieces, we also have something called uh, credential mapping. So we want to be able to create and store credential maps, digital certificates, if you will, inside the application server itself. We want to be able to utilize those credential mapping pieces to do authentication. So we have a method and a methodology where we can incorporate credentials into the application server. We can use them inside the security server to do authentication. So we can actually store certificate information directly in the server. And this is how we go about building the trusting relationship. So if I don't want to go through the process of authenticating every individual message that comes across, I can use the credential mapping to basically manage and create a trusting relationship. In addition to that, we have something in this in WebSphere called Common Secure Interoperability, another security protocol that we use to talk to external clients. This is where we bring into play the concept of SSL and where we uh, allow ourselves to authenticate external clients using something other than just password-based security. In addition to those particular pieces, we also have uh, different kinds of connectors. So I have a whole series of connectors that I can use to talk to enterprise information systems. So we have a level of security that allows us to talk to EIS types of applications. When we're talking to the EIS uh, types of uh, scenarios here, this is some one of the places we probably use the JS login module to do and to uh, allow us to do credential uh, mapping and do principal mapping. Uh, so we're going to be talking a little bit more about connectors, about credential mapping, and about the concept of CSIB2.